And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Ryan Metzler. Hey everyone, it's Ryan Metzler, and today we're going to be taking a look at a two-player dexterity game. We're going to be looking at Le Pass Trap. Uh, obviously a French game published in France, uh, and recently re-released in the United States under the name Fast Track. Uh, as I said, this is a dexterity game for two players, and the objective is to basically take your discs and flip them off of an elastic band through a small hole and into your opponent's side faster than they can get the discs onto your side. You're going to be governed by a timer, so basically whoever gets the most discs on the other person's side before the timer runs out wins. So with that said, let's take a look at what you get with the game, how it plays, and what my thoughts are on it. So here you can see the board and pieces for the Pass Trap. And the first thing you'll see is that obviously you have this large board area, a uh, green board with a center hole that passes between the two sides there, and obviously the, object the objective is to get these discs through that hole onto the other side. Uh, the game also comes with these nice wooden pucks. Uh, they're just wooden discs, nothing special about them, but they serve their purpose pretty well. And it comes with uh, little green pegs for keeping score. And usually, you can either keep these in there and pull them out as you went around, or you can put them in as you went around. Either way, it allows you to keep track of who's winning. Finally, the game comes with this timer. And so, uh, essentially, if you want to use this, you can start it, and whoever uh, has the most discs on their side at the end of the timer loses. But uh, we actually don't use it. We just go with whoever gets most discs uh, or all the discs on their opponent's side faster. So you can use this, but it's hard to watch the timer and flick frantically or, or pull back and shoot frantically while keeping an eye on this. We don't do it. So basically the whole objective is essentially to pull back with these and shoot the discs through the center. And you're going to be frantically doing this and your opponent's going to be trying to do it. It gets really crazy at times with your opponent shooting back and the discs collide in the center. Uh, they bounce, actually they can bounce off of the opposing side and come all the way back. It's crazy. Uh, it's frantic, it's a lot of fun, but really, the whole game is simply that. Trying to get the disc to the opponent's side. Not too much to it, but what are my thoughts? So it's pretty obvious that this is a very simple game. Uh, and it's a dexterity game, and actually I have a pretty big weakness for dexterity games. If you've been following my reviews, you've probably seen uh, along the way that I tend to review Crokinole, uh, different Crokinole boards at different times, and then I'm a big fan of the game, I follow it. Um, I play it regularly, and this game falls in that same vein for me. Uh, it's, it's a blast to play, probably not quite as good as Crokinole, but uh, the frantic pulling back and shooting of discs, the craziness that ensues, uh, it often gets you laughing about some, some silly thing that happens during the game, and it's really just a lot of fun. Now, uh, these larger boards can be a little expensive and hard to find, uh, but the game, as I said, was recently released under the name Fast Track in the United States, I believe it was actually released this year. Uh, the board is much smaller, but I'm going to guess that the concept is the same. I know it's the same game, so I think you get that same feeling out of that version if you were interested. Uh, so anyhow, that's Fast Track. Uh, it's a great game. Or Le Pass Trap, I guess I should say. It's a great game. Uh, if you have a chance to try it, I would suggest doing so. If you have a, a chance to buy it, uh, I would definitely do so. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Sommer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.